guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to look at some of my longest lasting fragrances in my collection. I have about 10 or 12 here, so I'll just go through them and kind of just let you know about how long they last and a quick like how they smell too, because I've gone over some of these um, in my previous videos, so I won't kind of bore you too much on how they smell. But the first one I have here, I'm gonna talk about this one. This is a Jimmy Choo Illicit. Now, I don't always love all of the Jimmy Choo fragrances. I have had some in the past, like his original. Um, some of them turn a little funny on me, so I don't always necessarily love his fragrances. However, I do like this one. This one is a very nice honeyed, amber, sweet type of scent, musky scent, and that's how it dries down. It just really dries down to like a honeyed, amber scent. I probably get eight hours off of this one. The dry down is just, you know, kind of, not overly subtle, but others around you can smell it and I can get whiffs of it as I move my arms or, you know, pick my arm up, I can still smell it. Um, and I always get surprised at how long this one lasts on me because for like a designer fragrance, um, I usually don't get that long of a wear time, but this one I really do and I, I enjoy this one. You can get this one for fairly inexpensive. Um, I've seen them in the discount stores. I kind of, sometimes when I smell this, it reminds me of like that kind of like wood shavings it has like a slight woodiness a little spiciness and then it's like warm it's very warm with the honey and the amber it's a good one so this is uh jimmy choo illicit the next one i have that is an absolute like longevity beast is the my burberry black and this is an eau de parfum this one is very peachy nectar so it's like peach nectar syrupy sweet it has a rose in here i can smell that but it's patchouli and amber in the base but it's very very sweet now this one in particular i probably get 12 plus hours on here and it gets sweeter and sweeter as i wear it so i have to be careful when i wear this one because the more i have the longer i wear it the sweeter it gets on me so i have to be in the mood for it and it also has some sort of like a it's kind of clean it's a clean it ha has like that Burberry, if you've ever smelled Burberry fragrances, they have that clean note in them. It, sm it also smells clean in its own way, but it's, it's quite thick and dense as well and syrupy. Um, so I have to, I usually wear this in the fall and winter because I find it's just a little bit too heavy and dense for me in the spring and summer. But also too, when you spray this one on your hand, I'm not gonna spray it now because I don't wanna smell like it, but it leaves like, you can see the oils. You can see, so it has a lot of, you can tell it has a lot of oils in here. So I think that's why it makes it so long lasting. Well worth it, because if you're looking for a really long lasting fragrance, this is really good. It smells, it smells really nice, but I think you do have to enjoy like peach type fragrances because it is quite peach dominant, but that nectary thick syrupy peach. So there's that one, my Burberry Black. The next one I have is an Amouage Journey. This is also kind of similar in the syrupiness but this is like an uh, apricot i think it has osmanthus in here it's got some florals i think it has like orange blossom but it also has like spiciness it has saffron and tobacco but i think it's more of like a white tobacco it's not overly spicy it's it's very quite sweet it's kind of dry smelling at the same time but i get probably eight to ten hours off of this one it's not overly uh, it's not like super projecting where it's gonna fill the room, but people around you can, it leaves like a nice cloud around you. People will be able to smell you from a distance. But yeah, this one is also too, it's, it's, it's a nice one, but it is quite sweet. This one also is a sweet one. So that is Amouage Journey for women. And then I have this, um, I found this super cheap. I think you can still find these like on eBay or Mercari, I've seen them. Uh, but this is Laura Mercier Amber Passion. This one I only paid $20 for, and I think it, it's well worth, obviously, much more than that. I think, like, the retail price was probably, I think it was under $100, but well worth it. Quick story on this one. I had worn this in, I wore it a lot in, like, the wintertime. And I remember wearing it, and I must have, you know, was in my car, so I had the seatbelt on. Now, I washed my car maybe couple weeks ago so it was still I think it was in like April so a few months later um, I can still smell this on my car on my cars the seatbelt like I could still smell it on the material 
It's a very pretty, sweet, vanilla, amber, a little bit spicy scent. Uh, it's really, really beautiful. It's And it's so long lasting. The fact that I can smell it like months later still on my car seatbelt is kind of incredible. This one does last a long time. It lasts especially long on the clothes. Like if you spray it on your shirt or clothes, you'll smell it forever. This one's great. I really like this one. This was like, this one's really good. If you like sweet amber scents, this is beautiful. Laura, I don't know why she's discontinuing this. It's terrible, but it's this is great. Laura Mercier Amber Passion. And then I have I have a citrusy one because I know citruses don't always last a long time on me. Uh, they fade fairly quickly, which I don't necessarily mind. It's not a uh, hit or miss with the frag, you know, if it's long lasting or not. Sometimes if I wear citrus, I don't always want it to last a long time. It's usually hot when I'm wearing it. So, but this one is Giorgio Armani Aqua de Gioia. Now, I think this is the older uh, bottle, obviously, because the cap is different now. I think it has like some sort of like a um, jeweled cap or kind of stone looking cap. So this is this version. This one lasts at least 10 plus hours, if not more. This one is a very so a citrus, mint, um, kind of like watery scents, probably like lotus or dew or something like that because it's kind of aquatic type of smell. So you, I think you have to like those type of aquatic -y scents because this is quite aquatic, uh, but it's minty, it's sweet. It probably has vanilla in here too because it is sweet. But this lasts so, and it smells clean. It smells fresh out of the shower. This is another one that when I wear it, I have to, um, be mindful of how much I spray because the longer I wear it and especially if it's warm out kind of the stronger it will get so if I spray more than two sprays I'm gonna regret it later because it just gets stronger and stronger as it gets hot or I get hot so the, my, if my skin warms up it just kind of you know and it can get strong you know you can everyone can smell it my husband always compliments me on this one so he likes this one it's very fresh it's clean it's easy um, it, it's, it has florals in here too, for sure. But it's, it's, it's really pretty, very long lasting. I don't know how the other one, uh, the, the new bottle, how long that one, I've never tried that one, but this one in particular is very long lasting. I also have another Burberry fragrance because I find their fragrances last quite, quite well. I also have a uh, Burberry body, which I have, it's a body spray that lasts a long time on me, but this one is Burberry Brit Rhythm for her. And this is an eau de toilette and surprisingly lasts eight plus hours on me so don't be, be I, I i don't be fooled by the eau de toilette versus eau de parfum because sometimes the eau de toilettes last longer than the eau de parfums do like this one this one's really nice it's lavender neroli musk clean yeah this one's really good it's good for spring and summer it smells it smells uh soapy the lavender is not like a super masculine lavender so it doesn't it doesn't pull manly or anything like that but it's just it's just a really nice uh kind of skin musky soapy floral clean yeah it smells really pretty it smells i like this one and you can usually find this um fairly cheap and expensive but this is good but i think you have to like those soapy soapy fresh kind of scents musky scents because that's it that's what it is it's a lavender soapy neroli scent so but that one's good that one's a burberry brit rhythm and then i have two that kind of smell a little bit similar um i think we all know this one for sure but this one to me like i have to commit to this one if i if i'm gonna know i'm going to wear this one it's a commitment for me because I will smell like this and probably until I shower or wash my clothes because it just does not go away. And that's Terry Mugler's Angel. And this is the Eau de Parfum. Now this one, same thing. It's just kind of like, I think we all know what this smells like. It's, it's chocolatey. It has like a million notes. Patchouli, sweet, spicy, pretty much a bunch of things. Gourmand type of scent but this one lasts forever and ever and I have to be in the mood for this one because um, it really doesn't go away like you spray it on and it just does not go away you're you're in it to win it it's it's there until I don't know until it fades away or the oils come off your skin because it just doesn't go I'm blinding you sorry so there's that one and one that smells similar to that is the uh, bond number nine 
I Love New York for the holidays. Now this one smells very similar to that one. However, this one has more of a berry opening. Like when you, uh, the, the, the first spray is this, yeah, it's like a, it's berries in the beginning. So it's kind of more fruity in the opening of it, but it still dries down to like a very kind of patchouli, spicy type of scent. And this one also lasts a very, very long time. The patchouli is very strong in this one. It's kind of, it's slightly dirty. Um, yeah, but this one lasts a very long time on the skin. Uh, you know, same thing, if you don't want it on your skin, you're kind of stuck with it. It's there and it won't go away. So, but you know, if you like that type of scent, that's good for you because you only have to spray it in the morning and then you'll be all set. A celebrity scent that I think is, honestly, is really good. I know a lot of people probably don't experience the longevity of this one, but I get 10, probably 10 plus hours, and that is Justin Bieber, The Key. And I really like this one. This one is, a fruity, musky floral. It smells clean, it smells fresh out of the shower, it smells kind of like soapy shampoo, but in, a, in the best way possible. For a celebrity scent, I think it's really good. You could probably find a giant bottle of this definitely under $20, if not cheaper, 15. But I usually wear this when I get out of the shower, and I, I will smell like that. If I take a shower at night, I could still smell it in the morning on me. Um, yeah, it smells just clean. It's a clean, fruity musk, and it's I really like that one. If you, so, if you've ever tried that, let me know. Um, I also have a men's cologne here. I wear men's cologne too. I just find that if I like the way it smells, like I'll wear it. I don't care if it's marketed for men, women, whoever. Um, if I like the scent, I wear it. So I uh, bought this one, Robert Graham, and this is called Valor. It has a cute little like bulldog on the. I think their caps are normally like really extravagant. I don't, I don't have that. I think the bigger bottles, this is, this is still a big bottle. This is a 3.4 ounce, but I think they make giant bottles and they have these giant tops on them. This one's really nice. This one, I think it has sage, amber, coffee. I really like this one. This one's um, kind of herbal, a little spicy, but the coffee note kind of sweetens it up. There's probably vanilla in here too, because it's definitely a little bit sweeter. But I probably, I think on Fragrantica, people were, said the blasting power wasn't good on them. However, for me, I probably got eight plus hours on this. I, I, I wore this the other day and I was pleasantly surprised at how long it was lasting. I sprayed it in the morning and I was still smelling it probably when I was eating dinner, I could still smell it. But yeah, it's just like a sweet, herbaly, kind of coffee type of scent. It's kind of hard to describe. Slightly masculine, I mean, this is a men's fragrance, but um, nothing, you know, this is definitely more unisex, I think. Yeah, it smells, it smells, I'm going to spray some actually. Why not? Yeah, it smells, it smells really good. It just smells like a nice, um, sweet, slightly spicy scent. So there's that one. And then I actually wore this one the other day too. This is, um, by Guerlain and this is Shalimar the EDT. Now, I don't always wear this one because I find it super, you know, I find it's, it is a classy scent. It is, um, you know, it's more sophisticated. I mean, I don't really go anywhere that I need to be smelling sophisticated, but I could be sitting in my pajamas wanting to smell sophisticated. And I'll just, I, I wore this the other day and I was, had no makeup on, pajamas, and I was, I was smelling, smelling good. Now, this one is a... When you first spray it, it's quite citrusy. It's got bergamot, so you get this blast of this like lemony, citrusy type of scent. And as it dries down, it has like rose incense. It's kind of smoky. And then as it dries down even more, it gets like to this vanilla tonka bean powderiness. Still slightly smoky though. The, the eau de toilette is kind of still smoky, but as it, the dry down is just like a pleasant, uh, kind of incensey, smoky vanilla powderiness. Uh, but I, this lasted on me eight plus hours. You know, I've never tried the Eau de Parfum, so I don't know how long that one lasts, but this one is fine for, I mean, I'm never probably gonna use a whole bottle of this anyway, but you know, this lasted a long time. If you like that type of scent, don't be afraid to buy the Eau de Toilette because the lasting power on it is perfect. So there's that one. I do have another Berlin. I think this is my last one. Yes, my last one. 
And this is insulin. So I know a lot of people have been talking about this lately, but I think it's worth talking about if you like sweet powdery scents because this is a very sweet violet powdery scent. Um, yeah, and also has like a little bit of like a dustiness to it too. And it's, you know, it's floral. Um, yeah, it's floral, powdery, irisy, kind of like that makeup-y powder type of smell. So it's kind of dry. It kind of smells dusty powder, like that powder dust. But I wear this, I usually wear this in the evening time after I've gotten out of the shower. Same thing, I'll kind of spray this on. It's very cozy. It's very comforting. It's warm. It's sweet. Um, and I will put this on at night and still smell it in the morning the next day. So it's like 10, 10 hours, 10 plus hours, just depending. I mean, I can still smell that on, and I've smelled it on clothes like that I haven't washed and I can, I can put it, I was putting clothes in the wash and I had, I was getting whiffs of this. I must've had it on my pajamas or something. So I could still smell it. So in eau de toilette, it was kind of just, it lasts a really long time. So I think it's, and you can probably find this for a good price, especially this um, eau de toilette version of it. I don't know how much. I think, you know, it was selling for like $30. I don't think, I think they're out of stock right now on uh, Fragrance Net because a lot of people are probably buying it. But it's definitely one to look into if you like those. You have to like powdery though because this is just powder. It's like pure powder. So that's that. So I would love to know what your longest lasting perfumes are in your collection, or I know some people, of course, everybody's different, right? Like everybody's fragrances don't last, they last different on everybody because everybody's body is different. But these are the ones that I find that every time I pick up and wear them, they're consistently long lasting. They last on my skin for at least six to eight plus hours. So at least get you through a work day, I'd say. And lasting power just depends. For me, it's not, 100% important because I feel like if I don't, if I pay a ton of money for, for, for a fragrance, I think it should last at least six plus hours because you're, because you're spending all that money. However, a lot of these here you can get on discount and they're, you know, fairly inexpensive. So I think they're worth it because, you know, they're a good price. So anyway, all right guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.